Good morning and welcome to this video for mental states that prevent success and their antidotes. Okay, let's not muck about, let's get on with it. Right, so let's start with the first one. We will start with hopelessness. You know, people often talk about this. It's hopeless. It's hopeless. You're never going to get anywhere when you think it's hopeless. Okay? Truth is, nothing's hopeless. You know, you've got an all-powerful God who can do absolutely anything. How could anything ever be hopelessness? Okay? It's an error. But it's a tendency that we have when we get a bit negative. Oh, it's hopeless. No good. And certainly while you think it's hopeless, you know, nothing's going to work. It will be hopeless. Nothing's going to work with that frame of mind, okay? And the antidote to hopelessness is faith. Faith, you know, you need to, you need to believe in God, don't you, really? To, because God is that one who is capable of doing anything. And why wouldn't you believe in God? I mean... We live in this amazing universe on a planet and everything. I mean, who made it all, right? <laughs> Can't it just be fluke, of course, you know? So, you know, have a bit of faith that hopelessness flies away. Just recognize I'm in, I'm in this state at the moment where I feel like things are hopeless, right? Recognize that you're doing it. Oh, I'm doing that negative tendency. Things aren't going to work as long as I'm doing this negative tendency. That hopelessness can drop away like that. You know, I mean, you could be feeling hopeless about Jeremy Corbyn becoming Prime Minister. I mean, that's really not going to happen anymore. But then, you know, that's not you, is it? Really, these things are concerned with you and your life and what you want. Okay? Everything is possible. Hopelessness is an error. Faith is the antidote. Uh, next one we'll do is, uh, we'll do dependence since it's there. And you see, these are sort of four things, and I've put them a a around a sort of a cross. Um, you know, there's something to do with that. Anyway, so dependence. Dependence upon anything that isn't God. Because all you need is God to achieve anything. You know, you don't need cigarettes, booze, biscuits, or whatever to achieve your goals. You know, they are not necessary, right? So, um, you know, this one that's quite common with me is sort of, I think that I need a fag while I'm meditating. Well, that, that hasn't happened so much. Or I think I need another spliff to boost it or something like that, right? <clears throat> um, you know, that that's wrong and therefore if I'm thinking that it's not going to work it's going to stop the success of my meditation and as soon as I recognize okay yeah I'm being dependent I think I need this other thing which is wrong that then as soon as I do that it drops I'm feeling the feeling and once you're feeling the feeling once you're in the meditation you you don't want to be anywhere else you don't want to do anything else you know once you're in that place you know <laughs> it's better than anything else basically so the antidote to dependence is have a bit of honesty you know with yourself particularly a bit of honesty about you know what these crutches are that you feel you're dependent on and accept that you know that's what they are crutches and you don't need them all you need is god okay Let's do the next one. We will do anticipation. This is a very common one. You anticipate the outcome. You know, whether you're anticipating it to be positive or negative. It's both wrong. If you, Especially sitting down to meditate, anticipating what's going to happen. If you do that, you're never going to get anything new happening. And the great thing about meditation is when stuff happens, it's hard, hardly ever the same twice. When God is involved, it's never the same twice. So you don't know what's going to come out, so it's pointless anticipating. And this is so true for anything that you do. Don't anticipate whether it's going to be a success or a failure. 
And the antidote to this one, is it enthusiasm or is it joy? Uh, it could be sort of either. I mean, you could, they are just words, but let's say joy is just enjoying the moment. So, you know, if, if you are doing something and you're anticipating the outcome, you're not really enjoying the moment you're waiting to find out if it's going to succeed or fail whereas if you just you know accept the situation you can be enjoyed so oh yeah these two are a little bit muddled up the joy and enthusiasm but yeah if i need to come back to it, oh you think about it why don't you think about it and then this last fourth negative thing which will prevent your success is desperation or when you try and force something to work you know it doesn't quite fit force it what happens you end up breaking the whole thing you know it's you can't force success like this and since probably this because we're on god's path you know and, and, and god has in, in his her infinite wisdom knows exactly what you're going to be at has set these things up for you, um, you can't force it. If it ain't going, go back to the drawing board. And that, in, that in a sense, is is a joy in a sense that you, yeah, you accept the way things are. And enthusiasm is a little bit more about um, how you approach certain tasks, you know, Winston Churchill said, success is going from failure to the next failure without losing enthusiasm. Because if you accept that you might fail, you, you're going to learn something in that process. If you succeed, great. If you don't, you learn something. So everything's great. Everything's good. Right. So that'll do. Ciao for now.